of Scorpio. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that so that you'll keep up to date with all my videos. So we're going to start by bringing in divine white light to help get us messages. They're for Scorpio and they're just for their highest good. That's really all that we're looking for here. And um, calling in their angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. We're going to start with the wisdom from the Oracle deck. We're going to grab three of these. It'll be short and sweet. And then some tarot for a small spread with tea leaves at the very end. So, Scorpio for you. These are not going to be pulled at any significant order, by the way. So, it's just how they appear, you know, to resonate in your life. Poised. Well, that's really nice. That card that means you're ready to receive. So the law of attraction is working. It's in your favor when you get this card. Something is coming through to be manifested. And this is about really not having to do a thing right now. Just be passively waiting and expecting. So in that, um, definitely in that Oh, anticipation mode, like the Three of Wands, kind of. Then we have Go the Distance, nice. Whatever route, like, route you're taking, whatever path you've been on, keep up with that same path and the same speed because something's coming in really quickly for you and there may be things that you're having to do um, action-wise that go along with this card, but it's definitely bringing in what you want. So don't give up is what I'm getting. I'm getting that. Uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Never ending story. Well, this could be the story of all souls, couldn't it? Um, there may be something that uh, we feel just keeps going round and round and round, but it also might be talking about your past lives. It might be talking about information, um, about this never-ending story that you might have access to now. I could be talking about Akashic Records. You know, uh, people are getting more spiritual gifts here lately. So maybe you're starting to remember things or getting these gifts that are from this never-ending story. Something that you'd already mastered in the past. And then we have 44. Lots of signs are getting this card. The Thinker. About making your strategy to keep on progressing, to keep on building. Coming up with a strategy. So let's get your reading started, Scorpio. This is the Rider Waite Tarot deck. Let's find out what the issue is. Oh, okay. So that might be why we're like, don't, why it's like, don't give up, don't give up. There might be something that you might have been brokenhearted about, something that maybe you put a lot of effort into and ended up with a broken heart. This could be talking about more than three people. Um, it doesn't really have to, though. It's mainly loss but you know along with this card we also have to think that what comes after it is the ebb and flow so if you're down here feeling then you have nowhere to go but up right now so let's look at the challenge Ooh. queen of wands maybe a leo aries sagittarius um this is about being bold though i almost see this card relating with go the distance Queen of Wands with Go the Distance because she's bold. She's is someone that takes inspiration from. You would uh, really, she's a little bit intuitive too with the black cat there. Um, and it's that, that yin feminine energy where once again, you won't have to really do too much. You just need to keep persistent. Keep persistent. All right, let's get a past energy. All right, past energy. This is the future energy. And then let's get, oh, spirit advice. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Let's take this one too, since it's wanting to pass. All right, so we've got Ace of Wands. This can be about passion coming into your life. Like this is the past position. Maybe this is a romantic partner, or maybe this was a brand new inspirational new start for you. And then something came along and we're back in this heartache mode. Having the challenge of moving forward, being bold and courageous, taking risks. The Page of Pentacles could indicate a child, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is that news, package letter or news that um, something about your material or your financial gain is going to come in. And that's great news. 
And then, or a job, anything related to like finances, I think, or the home life. Um, the six of wands, victory, victory and public recognition from other people, maybe in the family, maybe on an internet group, um, maybe something even bigger than that. Who knows? So then we have the eight of wands and that is fast income and communication. This was in the near future, the page of pentacles, and it is an incoming communication. This is just saying that you are going to get this message. News is on the way. And you're going to be riding high on your um, sweet little parade of victory there. <laughs> All right, let's get you some tea leaves, Scorpio. We're going to wrap up the reading for today. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, so these might not re relate with everybody. If they do, good. And if they don't, then just don't make them fit. Grief, sorrow over a loss. Might be heartache or loss. Might be that three of swords grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling careful handling maybe it's that and what we're working on casket someone going out of your life <sighs> okay or a situation or the end of a situation august if somebody wanted a month month of august ink pot problems to be resolved and forest muddled or unclear thinking and this could be somebody around you or you and you know what we're, when we're in this heartache loss three of swords we are gonna have thinking like that sometimes because that's only natural to assume that all right scorpio thank you for joining me you all have um, a really great day tomorrow and sending you lots of love and light bye